What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here, back with another video, and just when I thought I was done recording and editing for the day, some more news came out. So, let's just take a look at the tweets now. Elliot Freeman said, hearing Ottawa and Toronto are working on a Zaitsev deal might not happen for a couple of days, but it's in the process. So when you get a guy like Elliot Freeman saying stuff like that, there's probably something going down. And then Chris Johnston followed that up saying there's belief that Cody CC would be heading back in return. Would make sense if it was proceed, uh, processed after uh, Zaitsev's $3 million bonus is paid July 1st. Um, I mean, Zaitsev, not very great. Uh, Cody CC might uh, be a little worse defensively. Now, I know a lot of people will probably hear me say that and think that's ridiculous, but hear me out. This is where the pros and the cons are for both teams. So, Nikita Zaitsev, we know what he what he's about, okay? So his contract right now, $4.5 million, uh, and it's still got, uh, including this year, one, two, three, four, five years left in the deal. So uh, it's not exactly a great contract. Uh, he doesn't put up very many points. Like last year, he had 14 points uh, in 81 games. He's not supposed to be a point machine, but in his rookie season when he had 36 points, everybody looked at him and thought, okay, the Leafs have something here. They have a guy that can play in the top four. Now, I think a lot of people are a little bit misunderstood when it comes to Zaitsev too, though. Like, as much as he makes a lot of mistakes, he does chew up a lot of minutes, and he does chew up some penalty kill time. And I have been a supporter of Nikita Zaitsev before this past season and a little bit into the season before that. Uh, and, and by that I mean it's like I'm not like his biggest fan, but I've always been like, all right, let's 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 give him a little more time here to adjust, adjust. And when that time switched over after his first season and then he really struggled, it's like, okay, the, the adjustment period is over. He's not up to par. Um, but I also think that a bit of a style change, I think if he goes to Ottawa, he would have a little bit more of a, a loose leash. I, I think that they won't make him be a defensive defenseman. I think that Mike Babcock relies on him too heavily to be a, a guy that he isn't. Uh, I don't believe that Nikita Zaitsev is meant to be a guy that is, is supposed to be a lockdown defender. I think Ottawa is going to let him go. And, and uh, if this deal happens, again, this is, this is no guarantee. Apparently, Ottawa was on his uh, no trade list. But uh, regarding that, David Pagnotta from the fourth period said, Zaitsev no trade clause, 10 team no trade list, had the sends on it per Darren Dreger. Um, that kicks in July 1st. If the Leafs are paying his bonus, then moving him that day, player will have to sign off, which appears likely at this stage. So if they trade him now, then it, he doesn't have a choice. But if it's after July 1st, he can technically say no. But if he signs off, then whatever. But I think Nikita Zaitsev would probably work a little bit better in Ottawa. There's not a lot of pressure there right now. At least they're rebuilding and they have a lot of cap space. Uh, regarding Cody CC, he's a restricted free agent. He doesn't have a contract right now. His last contract, uh, his AAV was $1.4 million. Uh, uh, I believe that was his AAV. Yeah, his AAV uh, switched a little bit over the years. It got a, a little bit less after the first season. Um, but yeah, no, his his AAV right now is $1.4 million. Um, what, what was his? Okay, wait, no, this isn't accurate. Hold on. Okay, so sorry, his AAV was $4.3 million last season. That is very expensive. And, it, and if the Toronto Maple Leafs want to uh, hold on to him, and he has arbitration rights, so if the Toronto Maple Leafs want to hold on to Cody Cece and they're going to pay him that much, that's ridiculous. Uh, again, that cap hit, hit could go down. The Leafs might also flip Cody Cece somewhere else if this trade happens. Again, it's not a guarantee. Sorry for the mix-up with AAV. That was his um, his AAV in the 2012-2013 season. I was scrolled at the wrong spot. Uh, but this past season, his AAV was $4.3 million. And he doesn't chew up the same type of minutes that Zaitsev does, I believe. And if he does, he he's not very good defensively. But he had 26 points in 74 games last season. So an improvement in points. But... He was a minus 22, again, plus minus doesn't really matter that much, but if you look at like his defensive metrics and his offensive metrics, 5-on-5, five five, he is absolutely brutal. Like He is not good at all. And then on the power play, it's it's much of the same. Like He's not very good defensively, and offensively he can chip in here and there, but he nowhere near you know his potential. He's a former first-round draft pick, and uh, yeah, he's not, he's not very good defensively. He gives up the puck, he gets cup, uh, caught puck-watching a lot, some things that Zaitsev does too, but the thing here is the Leafs can go one of two ways. 
and it's a bit of a risk. If you trade for Cody Cece and you can't get a deal that's cheap because the Leafs don't want to pay him that much money, the Leafs are going to flip him somewhere else for another defenseman because Cody Cece is 25 and can put up some points. If you can trade Zaitsev, you can trade Cody Cece. Um, and of course, it would be in the same deal here. So I'm wondering what the pieces would be in a deal like this. I'm sure uh, Toronto would have to throw in something, especially if you're getting a 25-year-old defenseman. I'm not saying CC is like so much better. I'm just saying it kind of doesn't make sense on Ottawa's part, depending on uh, they feel like they think that Zaitsev is a clear fit for their team. So I don't know. This is this is this is a little nuts. Um, hopefully. Hopefully something happens. Hopefully something happens in the next in the next couple of days. I doubt this is going to happen now. I'm I'm a little speechless because I don't know where the Leafs would go with this. It, it's a little confusing, but let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm wondering if the Leafs are okay with just trading for CC, flipping him, and then signing another cheaper defenseman that may be a little bit more defensively sound than him. So. Again, we'll have to see. Make sure to subscribe. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. Let's get to 6,000 subscribers. I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.